Hello, Professor C here, working with you on a new sample. So under, uh, where are we, course documents, week three, chapter two, I'd like you to download DogAge, right click it, do save link as, bring it down to your computer, open, I'm using Firefox, which is open source, also developed on Unix, just like um, Python was. I'm gonna type in idle, I'm going to move this over to here. Actually, I'm going to make it a nice full screen. I do file open, navigate to where your code is. I know I have mine in a very obscure place. I'm sure you're putting it somewhere different. And here's my beautiful code, our first dog age calculator. You notice I have a dog theme going on here. So we're going to ask for the input of a dog's age, and we're going to give it its human equivalent. So right here, notice I have input, input your dog age. We put into a string. Why? Remember, the output of the input function must be a string. But to do math, we need it as a number. So we take the string that was entered here, convert it to a float, then put it into a float numeric data type. Take the numeric data type value, multiply it by 7.3, also a float, and put it into a variable human age. Notice we have the Fs here to help document that the variable contains a float. And I'm going to put up to the screen the human age equivalent for your dog is a little different than what we've done before. You might have seen a comma before, but now we're using a plus. Plus is what we call string concatenation. And notice I have to put a space here to separate this from this. And to get the float, to be concatenated, I take, need to take the float and make it a string. Just like I took the string to make it a float, to go back the other way, I got to take a float, put it through the string function, and concatenate. But when you run this code, you're going to see that it doesn't look so good, the output. So what we're going to do here, going to format it. So instead of using the string, we're going to use the format. Take the human age, comma, and we're going to format it to one decimal point and treat it as a float. Before you panic about this whole formatting thing, I'm going to bring you Excel. We all know how Excel works, right? I'm going to make it a little bigger so you can see. I'm going to put a number in like, say, 100.345678. When we look at the number in the cell, it looks like that. But when we format it, we could put, a, uh, we could put the number of decimal points down see even though the number here is larger that's how it looks like in the computer's memory we're going to format it to here and notice if i put a bigger number here and i hit enter it will round to one decimal point i know it's not excel class i just want to show you the same capabilities of formatting let's run our code i'm going to put in my um beloved Basset Hound, who is 13 point, I looked it up today, I calculated, 923 years old. Now notice the unformatted code looks like this. The formatted code looks much sexier and nicer. And let me show you how we pulled that off. See, we asked for the input, which is here. We took 13.923, which was a string, converted to a float. The float value can be multiplied. You can't multiply a string times a float. You got to get the string to be a float. Float times a float becomes a float answer over here. We put it off the screen, which is here. Notice we take that number and format it to one decimal point, and that is how we got that beautiful code.